All right, item 68. Do not be surprised that one's person that one person's actions bring elevation or decline to the whole world. And it's not important to whom he belongs. He has an inclination. He doesn't have an inclination. Each and every person, because he belongs to the entire round system of Adam Arishon, he influences everyone for the better or for the worse. And necessarily, because the connection between us was not torn. It just doesn't work the way that it needs to for the sake of uh, correction, but for the sake of corruption, we are all connected. For it is an unbreakable law that the general and the particular are equal like two drops of water. Hence, all that applies to the general applies also to the particular. Moreover, the parts make what is found in the whole. For the general can appear for the general can appear only after the appearance of the parts in it and according to the quantity and quality of the parts. Of course, the value of an act of an individual elevates or lowers the entire collective. The collective is built through the uh, particulars, the details. That will clarify to you what is written in the Zohar, that by engagement in the Book of Zohar and the Wisdom of Truth, they will be rewarded with emerging from exile to complete redemption from exile. We might ask, what has the study of the Zohar to do with the redemption of Israel from among the nations? Yes. Good. PT 25. David. We have 8 billion people simply yes. in the world. So what is the meaning of these people with respect to correction? Those people who, are, who have never come in contact with us, people die every moment. So what is the relation between these people and uh, our correction? I can't integrate all those people, I guess. You, you, in general, do not include them, and you don't gather them. What do you mean? You simply, with your intention, as much as you are capable of it, need to be concerned to reach out to them with your heart and with your material uh, dissemination, so that it will reach them in such some way, and they too will receive some connection to us let's say to our organization, some kind of connection to us, and this will be enough for them, so that through this uh, thinnest kind of connection, they can receive nourishment, which would be sufficient in order to fill up their soul with the light of correction, and later on the light of fulfillment. And uh, we have to be concerned with everyone, and especially those who are the farthest, because they cannot awaken by themselves and uh, cause some good, strong, mutual connection with whom, with what. They have uh, no, you know, just like our civilization, when it reaches Polynesia or some faraway places, but nowadays, when you come to these faraway places, I'm sure you saw it in movies, they are going with the same kind of regs like you, but well, not ice ones, but, you know, they know how to use a pellet, you know, smartphones, each one of them might be going, walking naked, but from somewhere that he still pulls out his phone, it's uh, his smartphone, etc. So, nevertheless, it does reach. And nowadays, it reaches each and every one. And uh, therefore, you can't feel yourself as uh, exempt from bringing the whole world to correction because. This is the task that Abraham took upon himself. He wanted to bring the whole of Babylon to correction. 
and uh, out of lack of choice, he only took a part of it, those who followed him.